Okay. So now, what we will do is zoom into the small intestine and look into it. Let's see if there are some differences. Yes, there are some differences. Let me label it so that you can interact with these images more. Well, image A, image B. What do you see? I can see in image A, it's, it's kind of patchy. What I see, there are some bumps. What I see here in B, image B, is uh, folds, correct? Well, let's see. Yes, outgrowths or rather patches. And here what we see are folds. Good, very good. Now, now let's talk about what are these actually? What are these patches? See, the pear's patch. Named after John Conrad Pear. Okay, the pear's patches. Now, note it down, it's unique characteristics of the ileum. Unique characteristics of the ileum here in small intestine. Fine. Now, what are these actually? These are nothing but clusters of the lymphatic tissue. Now, if I'm talking about lymphatic tissue, any guesses what is uh, the function? Oh, okay. I gave you a hint here in the slide itself. Produce a type of white blood cells called the lymphocyte. Now tell me, what would be the function? Of course, it's a very important part of the immune response. Correct? Okay. So, important part of the immune system. It monitors the bacterial populations in the intestine. If, if there are, by chance, by chance, if there are some pathogenic bacteria which has entered, these will start acting. These will start the immune response over there. Correct? Yes, that's a function. Now, let's talk about the folds. It's known as the plicae circularis. The folds, known as plicae circularis, also called the valve of Kirkering. Folds, so what is the function? It increases the surface area, so surface area for absorption will increase in the small intestine. Correct, all of you? Clear? Look at the structure. See, see it properly. There's a difference in jejunum and in ileum. In jejunum, you see it's very prominent. It's quite prominent in jejunum and it's not that prominent in ileum. In ileum, what we studied here is yes, the patches, the pear's patches are a lot. Pear's patches are present here. Fine? The ileum. Well, got it? All of you got the point? Very good. You know, this word, okay, this word, plicae, this has been derived from the Latin, again, Latin and Greek, plica, okay? This means fold. This means fold. So, hence the name, and yes, of course, it's folded structures. So, yes, we took this Latin word plica, and named it as plicae. Fine. These are the folds. Plicae circularis. Now, see the in inside part of the intestine. Fine. Duodenal glands. So, okay. Don't bother much about that right now. We'll talk about it slowly and steadily. Well, what do we see here? Folds. Okay, fine. But I see some... Uh, some other projections here on the folds, on the walls rather, correct? What are they and why are they? Why are they present? What are they actually? Yes, let's study. See it properly. See it, see it. Wow, beautiful demonstration. Beautiful, I enjoy this a lot, correct? Yes, that's the best part of these sessions. Like we try to make it interesting for you as much as possible, live for you. It's live, like you feel it, you are actually seeing the inside part of your systems live here. Correct? Right? I know, honestly, in the books, it's very difficult for you to visualize. But because thanks, I think, thanks to the technology that we are able to show these things to you. And I personally am a fan of technology and these type of visualizations, right? It's so, so, so good for all of you.
fine i'm happy that i'm able to provide you with these great once more do you want to see it once more well let me show it to you enjoy this a lot of effort actually went to prepare this so we should spend some good amount of time here do you see the folds yes but you are seeing some projections also that's important that's something that you have to note it here okay so what are these projections what are these projections well let's talk about it let's talk about these projections now take a closer look tiny uh what i see is like finger like do they seem finger like fingers correct finger like correct yes or no finger like projections they are known as villi yes they are the intestinal villi but wait do they resemble something that we have already seen uh, the next hint would be um okay in the uh, animal kingdom they resemble something a similar picture we have already seen there yes remember that fish who actually hides into these structures yeah sea anemone yes very good finding nemo correct see in the movie okay so let's get back well will i these are the finger like projections present composed of layer mucosa this mucosa layer is what we are going to study today towards the end of the session find the different layers of the elementary canal see why finger like projections actually it's it looks like the fingers got it you know what's the function of course it's increasing the surface area for absorption and that's one of the main functions of the small intestine right absorption much more absorption should happen absorption of the nutrients the food that has been digested the nutrients has to be absorbed well see this will i they these will i they are covered by epithelium okay to be more specific if you remember columnar epithelial cells columnar epithelial cells correct remember column like fine very good they have lacteal it's nothing but the lymph capillary and blood capillaries also very important they have the lymph capillary known as the lacteal and they also have the blood capillaries of course these are the area where absorption will happen absorption into blood so blood capillaries definitely will have to be present over here correct don't bother about all the other labels like crypts of lebecon don't worry right now i'll talk about it okay very soon very soon got what is will i what are will i basically correct surface area for absorption is increased due to these structures it doesn't get over here there are smaller microscopic projections microscopic projections called the microvilli so intestine villi here there are microscopic projections which are known as microvilli fine if you zoom into a single villi you will see tiny very tiny hair like projections and because of that it gives a brush border appearance look here it's a very well analogy that we can use to remember this brush border appearance fine it gives a brush border appearance fine got it well note it these are absent in pears patches questions can be asked so please note this down they are absent in the pears patches fine very good let's move so they increase the surface area of the absorptive surface area in the small intestine you know about it now again a nice demonstration for you see finger like projections finger like projections and there there are small 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 hair like projections i would say so they are the microvilli correct 